Welcome to Project Pack number six, our conclusion day. My name is Rick. This is Maria, and uh, this is going to be a little sad to see this project going away. We're, uh, we're, we had so much fun, and everybody, uh, everybody's little books are so precious. And, and, and uh, you're going to have, trust me, you're going to have lots of opportunities to practice the no mistakes. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> no worries about that. And we wanted to just show you what a few of uh, some of the other ones that we did and some of the ones that uh, other folks around here in the, uh, in the office did. And this first one is with Julie. And we just wanted to. Oh, that's so cool, right? It and, looks I, and I think this, I don't know if this was the one that she did on, on the video, but we really like this whole idea of how everything goes, goes up under it, that. It reminds me of some sort of like little um, factory producing some <laughs> goodies, you know, exactly. like it's moving and yeah, yeah, I love it. And uh, let's see, what do we have next here? So this, this, this is, is Molly's. This is Molly's. Yeah. And love this because it, there's, there's a backstory to this because it's beautiful to watch how it transitions from um, Indira. Munchen. Munchen. Munchen into Paradox. Right. And, and the reason that that's so, so cool is that Munchen is the tangle that Molly came up with when she was trying to do Paradox and went in a different direction. A mistangle. A mistangle. Right. And so this is turned out to be turned out to be a really, really awesome tangle. Oh, I love that. I love that tangle. And it's really fun to do. It's easy to teach, too. Yeah. It's easy to teach, and it came out of a quote unquote mistake. Yes, a mistangle. And let's see, I think there's something oh this is very oh, cool. Look how pretty. Ah oh, I love I love these leaves and, and look at this version of uh, of Crescent Moon. That's right. really fun. And poke root is was something that she had a real difficult time with until all of a sudden one day it she got it. Right. You know? And as a beekeeper, I really like these. Look, it looks like a... Like what? Beginning of... Uh, oh, uh, a nest? No, th well, the comb that when they're starting new comb. Oh, okay. And let's see here. We've got uh, this one of Martha's. Oops. Is very cool because if you remember on her video, she started with um, that... Like a chain, a beaded yeah, chain. That yeah, that just went through the whole... Um, went through the whole book. Yeah, so she started out putting a chain on every page, which is really cool. Right. Some of some of them through. yeah, some of them went along the, uh, the 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 difference between black and white and some went through them and oh, there was a lot of great ideas. And and this is really cool because this one I'll show you the original, right? So that's the original of that. And then this same page. So this is what I did with that one. So you can see that the... Everybody's ideas were different. Right? And so the way you can interpret them is really, really totally up to each individual. So what Rick did is he, he hovered on both sides and went back and forth. And Martha uh, just made it part of the overall pattern. Right. Neat. Very cool. All great ideas. And then, uh, let's see, what was, okay. And then, uh, let's see, got this one over here. So this was another example of uh, doing crescent moon on either side. And I went along where the ink was there. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then we've got Maria's. So I don't know if you guys uh, thought about drawing on the cover, uh, but it was really nice to draw on. You wouldn't think so, but it was it was fun. It slowed you down. Um, it gave it a, a different look. It was almost like it was woven into the fabric, and I just loved it. So you guys ought to give that a try. And then I also thought that there should be uh, uh, a cover page, right? right. 
And I, I went back and forth on what to call it. And one of, I, I did two of them. One of them's called No Fear, and um, another one yeah. is uh, yeah, one. No Mistakes, Only Opportunities. Um, so I actually, I'm the only one that filled my book. Yes, it, she actually yeah. filled her whole book. So we're just going to well, um, kind of wander you through may those. Have, you may have filled your book as well. And, and when we, you know, speaking of the book, we were, th we were thinking of, like, things to point out. And, you know, you might have thought, or, or somebody who saw what you got might have thought, oh, you've, you've got this damaged book. Or, but actually, if you had gotten a perfect book, without any of this quote-unquote ink spilled on the side, it probably wouldn't have inspired the, the, the response or the ideas of the initi or the initiative to, to come up with something different. Right. I, and I love that idea. That it's such a cool um, <clears throat> way to uh, inspire things that you just never thought of doing before. And a lot of times, um, well... I'm going to tell the story. Because okay, go ahead. There was this, uh, uh, I don't know if how many people remember, but back in like the early 90s, there was this project in, in Arizona called Biosphere. And the uh, objective was to create a uh, self-contained building in which they would grow their own food and, you know, live. For one year? F for two years. Oh, two years. For two years. Oh, my God, two years. And so anyways, the... One of the things that happened that they didn't understand is as the trees were growing, they were falling over. And what they discovered was, after studying it, that without the wind blowing that created this, what they call stress wood, that was really strong in the, in the roots and in the trees, the, the tree never had any reason to develop a, a strong foundation or mm -hmm. roots that would hold it up, and it just fell over. So what a wonderful example that is. That we become stronger. We, we, yeah. we, uh, we, we become more resilient, right? And, and, and but we, even, we are, we're even able to, to actually continue living be right. because of those pressures or stressors or that, that, okay, you dig deep and you come up with something and that's, that's how you grow. Right. I mean, I also remember reading that if you were to help a butterfly out of its uh, cocoon, mm -hmm. it'll never be able to fly. Right. It needs it needs to yeah. to work we, through that. Yeah, we need to let the let you fall down when you're learning to walk and and uh, well, eat some sand <laughs> and in the sandbox. So and those yeah. those are all real gifts. And yeah. at the moment, at least for me, they never feel like oh, thank you so much. I know. But but this was I think I think there's a lot to this uh, this. Uh, project pack. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I had a lot of fun with this book. Once I got rolling, um, it was just it's, such that's a... That's gorgeous, babe. <laughs> Come on. No. Really? So I like the idea of uh, tying it together, you know, one side and then the other and then something in the middle. Um, I, didn't, I couldn't do the entire book like that, but um, you guys can. And... Uh, Oh, it was a good one. I didn't do mm. I didn't do this one on the on on film on the uh, camera, but um, it tied one end to the other end. Um, oh, that was fun. Look at that. How cool is that? Stretch like silly putty right? Huggins, oh, right? That's true. Silly putty Huggins. It is really much more flexible than we thought. We absolutely, yeah. yeah. I have to remember yeah. that. Yep. And this is this is uh, Huggins with let's see, one, two, three, four, like. Crazy, big huggins right, in the so, middle, and then sort of sprouting mucus. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and this and, we, and that's the this uh, the one we saw on yeah. the uh, on one of the ones that you well did. that that may have been the one or the or the one I did before it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when I didn't turn oh, on. Oh no, that's not I, it, right? I didn't turn on. Because not there. Oh, that, okay, yeah. This was the first one I did, right. and we realized that you have I had to press record. <laughs> press record. <laughs> That happens to all of us here, right. and, and when we hear everybody come clumping up the stairs, and they say, ah, we know that they forgot to pour, turn on record. Right. <laughs> so this was um, doing um, crescent moon on both sides of some mucha right. and just, you know, pl playing along with that. 
Oh, and I had to do a big ding splat because it just, you know, begged. Right. But that's kind of a cool ding yeah, splat, right? Yeah, that came out good. I love it. And and also notice the uh, highlight both on both the light and the dark there. Right. How impactful that yeah, is. Yeah, it had this. This has a lot of gravitas to it. You know, this weight. I, I love that. These are kind of cool too, right? Mm. The depth and the shading mm -hmm. and everything. So one of the other things I had, the, had these notes, and uh, I think one of the gifts, if you will, of this book is that these errors of ink bleed here is a great example of, you know, you have a you have all these words that begin with C, and you know, create, and the 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 idea for this is that you can either complain about it, you can criticize the situation, you can try to control the situation, or you can just figure out, okay, what can I create with this? Right. How can I be creative? And um, if you practice creativity on a regular basis, I mm. can't say this enough, it will find its way into your normal everyday life and things won't bother you anymore. I mean... Sure, well, if somebody's sick, that bothers you and everything. Yeah. But, but, but little everyday things, well, oh, I burnt the supper or I did this or I that, you know, things that you can, you won't get angry anymore. You'll say, well, but I learned of this and mm -hmm. I learned that and now I can do this. And uh, Well, it yeah. shifts from worry and regret to, okay, what do I do now? And, right. and that moves away from blaming something to, okay, I have the ability, the, the power, or the creativity to do some one thing. So mm -hmm. what's my next stroke here? Yeah. And almost always there's a way to creatively work its way out. It might not be what other people think you should do, but once you get used to it, it's so empowering. I can't even tell you. Well, and that's that's a really cool point because we're so used to having being given multiple choice. Right. You know, okay, you get to choose. You know, do you want to wear, you know... Do you your want to blue wear shirt? your blue shirt or your red shirt? But you're going to wear a shirt. Right. You know? <laughs> so is it A, B, C, or D? Well, in this situation, you will come up with the rest of the alphabet yeah. and the rest and of the languages some, yeah. and then some. So uh, it, this is this is what creating means, not uh, picking a pre-selected choice. Yeah. So it's a little bit of striping and some, I don't know, just had some fun. Diva dance. And then I did a whole series with these um, different size uh, orbs as a background texture. And um, it had almost like a seashell, not, what's that? What's sea that? urchin. Sea urchin right, look to it. Without the spines, yeah. Right. And uh, yeah, right, that right, was yeah. really fun. Uh, and and the, the white, um, if you really take your time, it... Uh, Bubbles up, you know, it kind of, mm. you know. Puddles. Puddles, yeah. yeah. And, of course, this is a, an embedded Z letter. Yeah. And that alternating back and forth with uh, the rounding and the sprouting. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. A that little was spiraling there. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, let's see, we did a little uh, triply here. I like that splatter. Mm-hmm. And so some more Tripoli, and uh, that's kind of, that was just, I, I was using that as warm-up. I, I, I didn't really think that I would do it on film, but the warm-up was really a good idea. Well, it looks like a wave just it does. cresting over there. Yeah. And this is the funniest this thing because um, I was Let's looking at a... get it in the light. See the, see? Oh, I, I well, <clears throat> let me tell you about this. Uh, I had a platter... Um, on the table, and it was this shape, the octagon shape. And I thought, well, let me do something octagon looking and with borders and all kinds of stuff. And I honestly made a mistake over here. Some I screwed it up. I'm thinking, well, darn, <laughs> I am going to do a Bronx chair because it belongs in this right. in this place. And after I got the whole the the Bronx chair done, I uh, I went over it with some of my clear nail polish, right. which is always kind of fun. Ah. Oh, look at... Where are the kids? Yeah. <laughs> where, where are the kids? I can't see them. Oh. And they're playing very nicely and looking all over the place, climbing it's up and down. It's a bijou parade. It's a <laughs> party. Party. 
That's awesome. And Mama Bijou She's right She's really there. dressed up, or he's yes, really dressed yeah, up. Really dressed up, he or she, whatever. Right. And uh, as he stayed all the, all pretty much all in the uh, block yeah, there. Yeah, uh, that was kind of a fun project. You know, I was trying to make each one different for some, somehow different from the other pages. Hmm. And uh, this was kind of fun to do. Sweet. And this was about uh, just another, uh, um, I, I think I was doing like L shapes on both sides of the line and then coloring them in. in. Do you see them? Very so cool. So all of the. Or filling them in like as. Uh, see the, these things, you can, if you follow the line, it goes up and up. Oh, okay. It was like, it was like doing uh, letter, letter forms, you know. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And uh, nice little cross resonance there. Yeah, yeah. So again, with those, uh, what was it called? Uh, tipple. No, no, oh, no, the, the sea urchin. Sea yeah. urchin thing. Tipple is so sea urchin. I uh, I would start with the bigger dots, and then put s some around them, uh, just a little bit smaller, and then. Um, once I did that all over the place, then I just filled in the background with small dots, and uh, and then shaded both both the black and the white with with uh, micron uh, with pencil. I, I like how this leaves the center highlight mm -hmm. Hi without graphite. It like just really pops up. Okay. And again, instead of doing uh, circles, um, I was doing a, a line of a of a big dot, and then it got gradually smaller and then it went smaller to bigger and then to, and then uh, created lines along that this is very uh, William Morris looking I think he did that in a lot of his backgrounds and this is sort of like dude a dude on both sides and uh, playing with that two dudes two dudes walk into a bar <laughs> And I don't know what I was doing here. I, I didn't finish You're it. You're probably on the phone. I was probably on the phone, yeah. And that's it. That's and my book. And there we go. So no, I got more to oh, show. Oh, that's right. I got yes, more to yes, show. Yes. So um, now, w after you've done all these exercises, now what? How are you going to uh, make this work on your tiles? So I did a few tiles so that you could see how what kind of things could happen and what you could do when, when these things arise. So if, if you do something that has a whole bunch of different and then kind of misstep in one little section, you can color it all in black and then go back in with white and make it, you know, sort of a focal mm -hmm. point. And it doesn't have to be a big spot. It can be something, you know, um, as small as that where it may not have worked or something, or you spilled something or smudged it or whatever. So you go in with the black and put that in there. And I love, this is a blueberry season. Here I know, we, England, so. I must have been uh, yeah. looking forward to the blueberries. So then there's, um, again, just go in and um, with the black, and then I went in with, did my work with the white, and then I went in with red. Can you see the red in there? And then with, uh, uh, graphite in here and I mean it doesn't even look like black anymore right right that's kind of pretty it, it adds a nice uh, almost eggplant looking thing to it I love that I to me that that makes the whole thing and then here is uh, the last one here some um, uh, molygon mm -hmm. which was really wild molygon oh so see what she did she continued inside the molygon, the auraing of the molygon, mm -hmm. that's really awesome. And then just, uh, if, if it didn't work somewhere, you can br throw some in and then go in with the white. And I think that, that especially on this tile, works really yeah. well. And again, I, I, I used graphite to uh, calm it down a little bit. So that's what I got. So oh, wait a minute, I got one oh, more. One, one more. more. <clears throat> so this one here, uh, this is uh, a white tile, and I must not have liked what this looked like. So I went in and I actually painted this in with a, a deep brown walnut ink, and then let that dry for a few days. I didn't have to go do it right away. And then I had this, uh, took the white jelly roll and made, 
made like, what is it, jellyfish looking mm. tendrils coming off it, and it really gives it a lot of movement. And then went in with a gold jelly roll and um, made some little mulligans going around. But I think that kind of looks much awesome. better than what was there. Awesome. And then you that. went over it with... Uh, that would, I went over this. Sort of like a transcending. A transcending with a, a gray. Um, One um, of the gray brush, brush points. Brush yeah. points, yeah. yeah. That was, that's a kind of a neat technique, too. So we hope you had a wonderful time with this. We hope you will remember some of the, you know, metaphors for this as you move through the zentangle of your life. Yeah, and, and uh, um, I, I'm hoping to see some either, you know, on uh, social media and or uh, on the Mosaic app. If, if you if you do it on the m app, please. Uh, yeah, so the hashtag, you know, hashtag is probably showing up on the screen right now. Okay. And uh, thanks again for sharing this time with us. We gratefully appreciate it, and uh, we look forward to seeing you on another Project Pack. Next Project Pack. See okay. you then. Bye. Bye